Another BC unboxing of Raid on Iran by Steve Jackson Games. If this looks familiar to you, then you're probably as old as I am. <laughs> this uh, came out originally in 1980, I believe, as part of their line of box type games. And uh, I just found out very recently that Steve Jackson Games has redone these. Now, that might not be news to you, but it's completely news to me. I had no freaking idea that they did this kind of thing. Um, it's bigger, as you can see, from the thin cases from the 80s, but that's okay. I mean, it's kind of cool, actually. It's exactly the same art, too, and, and doing a little reading up on it, they did their best to find the assets, they cleaned them up, and they put them back on sale again. So... Uh, cool. I traded for this, so I don't know how much it cost, but uh, it's something I'm going to look into more here. I've actually got another one that I will be doing in another unboxing video here, One Page Bulge. So let's take a look at this one, though. Free the Hostages. On April 24th, 1980, the United States launched a rescue mission to free 53 hostage hostages held captive in Iran. Three helicopters failed on the way. The mission was aborted. What if it had gone in? So if you're not familiar with this action, and I'm not very well read up on it, but I was, of course, as some of you were probably alive at the time, uh, this was an event where the uh, Ayatollah Khomeini came into power and they took the Americans hostage and there was a rescue attempt made, but it was a comedy of errors, unfortunately. And it never went through. So I think they were released through diplomatic means eventually, but they were uh, in uh, under the control of the Iranians for quite a while, for several months, I think, if I remember right. But again, I'm not an expert on that. But anyway, this game says what if they went in to do what wasn't done historically to rescue the hostages. And then on top of that, there's actually two scenarios. There's an alternate one here as well that examines the possibility that the commandos might have tried to abduct the Ayatollah Khomeini himself in exchange, to exchange him for the hostages. So there's a lot of good components here, uh, but we're going to take a look at them right now. So again, a thicker box and a little bit more of a mystery to open. <laughs> it took me a while to, to pop it open earlier when I was first looking at it. So right off the bat, we've got two six-sided dice, a white, or excuse me, a gray and a black. It looks like it's got the little Steve Jackson logo on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then another small bag for your uh, counter storage, if you'd like. And the insert here. A classic returns. Can we see that? We can see that. There we go. Um, this reproduction was created from the best copy of the original that we could find. Every component was painstakingly scanned, touched up, and reproduced as a form, excuse me, in a form as near identical to the original game as we could manage. It includes retro style rules, maps, and counter sheets, as well as a second set of die cut counters. So that's kind of the neat inclusion is the second set of die cut counters, as we'll see. So I'll pull everything out here now so we can take a look at it. Here's the rule book. Uh, pretty standard from what they used to do. I mean, they, they and they mimicked what was out in the 80s perfectly, this small rule book, which is essentially a wall of words. But it's not that long of a book, and I don't think it, it was that difficult to get into. Now, I never owned this game back in the early 80s. I only had a few others. Um, I can't remember them off the top of my head, but I did have some. I saw this game on the shelf many times, never bought it, unfortunately. But it looks like it's... It looks just like what other Steve Jackson games of the period were like, this rule book. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's no images. As you can see, there's no images here anywhere. So it's take that as you will. That's just the kind of way it was back in the day. And then we got this lovely little image here that was from the original game as well, I imagine. Uh, showing, looks like American soldiers carting off the Aitola if they managed to kidnap him uh, as per this scenario in this game suggests. All right, so here's the map. And I've seen this before on BGG, but I've never unfolded it. I've never actually held it in my hands. I might have to move the camera up a little bit here so we can see all this. Yeah, let me move the camera up a little bit. OK, 
Okay, that's a little better. So what we have here is the uh, embassy complex. It looks like football field, uh, chancellery, ground floor, second floor. Over here, we've got the ambassador's residence. Over here, buildings, lawn, house, roof, house, roof. So they uh, have multi-story buildings here, and they've got them covered by putting separate spaces in there. That's interesting. And then we have roads and streets, uh, roads, lots. So different terrain. It looks like a, a area control type of movement. Helicopters, I'm assuming that's where helicopters can land, and that number is probably the max. So there's a three next to that, a one next, or excuse me, a two next to that. So not a bad map, not too big. A little ugly, but that's the way that was from back in the day, and you know, a little bit of nostalgia here. Uh, that's actually kind of cool because uh, it reminds me of the old school games in that design. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so here we've got a CRT, it looks like, ranged combat. Close attack, entry by stealth, Iranian reinforcements as well. Here's the first, whoops, almost popped right out here. Well, it's about to. This is the first counter sheet. The uh, counters look like they are probably Iranian. Yeah, I think these are Iranians because it says mob here on these, and there's Aitokami. I didn't even look at that. Uh, then a couple of helicopters. Here's another counter sheet. Looks like this is probably the Americans. We've got the helicopters there, of course. Uh, we've got soldiers. I'm not sure what these others mean. Breach. Maybe a wall you can breach, perhaps. And uh, mortars. I'm not sure what these other ones might be. These, oh, these, these are hostages. Duh. I was looking at that the wrong way. These, uh, these is a kneeling guy with a blindfold on. I wasn't sure what that was. It looked like a soldier uh, kneeling down to help somebody to me. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that is there. Okay. And I guess I should have shown the backside, but there isn't anything on the back of this other counter sheet, I don't think. Nope, nothing there. All right. And then here is the uh, the uh, sheet I was talking about earlier. It's not die cut at all. It's just a cardboard uh, or card insert. So I guess you can make extra counters if you want or uh, newer ones if you've lost them or damaged them, whatever. And then lastly, we've got a little, oh, hold it right side up there. Um, pocket box statement here this plastic box this plastic pocket box i can read is we modestly think the best new idea for game packaging in years certainly it is better than the average flimsy cardboard box or plastic bag it was designed to fit in your hip or coat pocket without crushing e okay that's so that's a big pocket but hey why not it will also ride in a suitcase, I can see that, or lunchbox, sure, etc., without risking total destruction. That's true, it is pretty sturdy. It is a rather thick plastic box. Like any plastic item, it may be damaged if exposed to intense heat, or etc., etc. So yeah, that's just kind of like a, hey guy, don't, don't, just use common sense when you store it. <laughs> um, if you want to remove... The hanger from the top of the box. I don't think there's a hanger here. No, there is not. So the original games in the boxes back at the time had this little uh, hanger thing at the top where you could just, in a retail establishment, hook it up on a wall and it just hung there. And uh, so this is a nice little piece of nostalgia included in there. So there you go. That's uh, Raid on Iran from Steve Jackson Games. I think it came out, uh, came out in 1980, but this reprint came out in 2019, I believe. So thank you for watching.